Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more automation and of course BeamNG Drive. Uh, as you can tell, in front of us is the body of a glorious Peel P50 and the goal of today's video is to make this the cheapest car possible. Uh, the goal is going to be hopefully under $4,000 uh, in automation money, which is 2012 US dollars. So we're going to see if we can make this thing under $4,000 brand new. Of course, there's not really much to the car, so we're just going to make everything really cheap and hopefully we can get that. Uh, we're going to go for steel panels, we're going to go for ladder chassis. You might be thinking monocoque might be cheaper, no, ladder is cheaper. Uh, with what we're going to be doing. Front mounted longitudinal, and you'll see in a second why longitudinal is actually better than transverse in this case. Leafs in the front and leafs in the rear. Minus 15 quality because we, we gotta save some money of course. New engine, it's gonna be inline 3, cast iron, push rod, cast iron, and the smallest size possible. <laughs> it's gonna be a 300 or 295 cc inline 3 engine. It's a very tiny, tiny inline 3. I mean, we could, we could obviously go for transverse, right? And then we'd, we'd be front wheel drive, but nope, it does not fit in the engine bay. I'm not too sure what you could fit in this engine bay, because literally nothing will fit in this engine bay ever. Um, but that's, that's fine. So nothing fits in the engine bay transverse. I think it's because of the update and stuff. Uh, they changed the engine bay sizes. We're gonna go for a cast iron, cast, cast, minus 15 quality, top end. Uh, this doesn't really matter as much, but minus 15 quality. The year is 1989. We're going to design this thing um, similar to some very cheap car in 1989, I guess. I've got a, a brand of mine called Bada, and they're basically like Lada, but worse in every way. So we're going to make a, a Bada today, probably. Uh, no turbos for us. We're going to go for carbureted, single barrel eco, and race intake is actually cheaper than standard intake. We, we don't need any. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, fuel type, this doesn't really matter. We'll just go for like low quality fuel. We're not going to get any power to this thing anyways, to be honest. And the RPM, uh, 2,000 RPM please, minus 15 quality, that's going to be a bit cheaper. Cast log, none, 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 minus 15, and smallest size. So right now, 0.5 horsepower, we are knocking, we're using over 100 octane. Uh, we're going to increase the fuel mixture just a bit here. So now we are up to, no, we are using too much fuel, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's dying, it's dying. So what we could do is increase the cam profile, decrease the compression. Yeah, I think we'll need actually higher octane. Let's go for let's go for regular fuel. So 2.8 horsepower. It's not the fastest thing. We honestly might as well go for like super fuel or something because does this car really matter? I know regular fuel's fine. Regular fuel's fine. We'll give it less work, less less fuel because it's yeah yeah we we need less. Okay, so that's pretty good. The cam profile is 87. We can probably get maybe a little more horsepower. Oh, 8.9 pound feet of torque. That's not bad at all. 9.2, 9.9.2 is what we got. 9.2 pound feet of torque. 3.6 horsepower. It's 4 horsepower, we're gonna round up to 4 horsepower, that sounds like a reasonable amount of power for this kind of car. On to the body. We got two choices, this body, or the tall one that fits actual human sizes. This is like a child's car, this is a human car. Uh, we're gonna go for the, just the regular one. We can go for this, I'm not too sure what the difference is for this and that honestly, but we'll use the regular one here. Minus 15 quality, again. Rear-wheel drive, uh, manual 2 speed. Top speed is 52 kilometers an hour. Yeah, it's, it's not ideal. Open diff. Uh, we can go for cross ply or radio, they're the same cost. We'll check in a sec, but I'm pretty sure they're the same cost. We'll go for hard long life. We'll double check that in a second. Minus 15 quality. There are 45 width tires. Kinda small. <laughs> it's, it's kinda. Just a little bit small. Just a little bit. Uh, drum SLS and SLS smallest brake sizes. Zero pad type, minus 15 quality. This car is so light, the pad type actually doesn't matter. Um, but it's cheaper to have less brace pad type. Uh, no under tray, minus 15 quality. I think we'll keep it on 50 airflow for now. We'll change that for maybe later. A one-seater basic, basic, minus 15. None, nothing, nothing, minus 15. Everything minus 15. I know, I know. It's pretty. It's, it's a pretty simple concept. Minus 15. We'll, we'll, lower, we'll just do like a, we'll do a race tune and just lower the sway bars down to zero here. Just super stiff suspension. 44 MPG. That's a highlight. That's a good thing. The cost. Oh my gosh, right off the bat, it's 3400 <laughs> Oh my gosh. I actually wasn't expecting that. Oh, because we can play with the cooling still, I think, right? Like, that affects the engineering time. 34, okay, it affects the engineering time, which, or engineering time? Yeah, which, I think that affects the costs, no? Um, but either way, it's still pretty dang cheap. It's, I don't think we can get really cheaper. Can we go for smaller tires? That actually doesn't affect the cost really at all. Oh no, but the max size is up to 50 now instead of, okay, no, it's 85. Let's go, to, let's do those smallest tires. Smallest possible. We got... No, not 65. It should be... Were we in 45 before? There's 34, 60. We are just at 45. Come on, what's happening, game? No? Are we at 30? 
3420. I'll fix that. I don't know what the issue is. We'll fix that. Uh, but the car, it's pretty much done. I think 3400 is the best we can really get. Just by doing everything I know to get it cheaper. It's a two-speed manual for crying out loud. I wish we could do a one-speed, but uh, sadly a two-speed is all we can really get. Come on, let's go like this. Can we bring it down here to here? 85 only. 85 only. That's a little weird, not gonna lie. 65. I'll, I'll play around with this. Is, is Chunky? Chunky? Oh, hard, oh Chunky Offer is actually... Medium combat is actually cheaper. 3420 still. I'll do, I'll do some tinkering and I'll fix that. I'm, I'm not too sure why that's the issue. Uh, the front tires blew out. Yeah, that's fine. They're still going to work in BeamNG. This car weighs only 597 pounds. Um, so what, what I'm going to do, guys, I want to see how this car drives in BeamNG really badly. Is it terrible? Does it even run? Look at those rubber band tires. I'm not even sure. Can this thing do tricks? I, I don't know at this point. We're going to hop into BeamNG right after I designed this car in a short time lapse. Uh, it's going to be a really quick design today. I know, it's a quick video today. Sit back, uh, relax, guys, and of course, I hope you enjoy. And finally, we're designing our very, very cheap automation car. At the beginning, I'm just changing the texture to leather, uh, working on one single headlight similar to the actual PLP50, and I did shape the body just a little bit, making it smaller and hopefully a little cheaper, uh, putting on just some simple bumperettes, some sort of simple plastic cladding to give it a, a bumper-ish kind of feel, uh, and a crooked license plate on the front, adding some hinges, they're called hinges on the side, I'll remember that later, and testing the waters with a, a custom door handle, but ending up with just a regular simple latch. I am going to do an interior on this car, it's going to be very difficult because the interior is awful. Uh, adding a simple exhaust tip, the bumper is already wrapped around the side uh, and the back. Steering wheel, super simple, just some sort of two-spoke steering wheel design from the right of the 80s because this car is 1989 after all. It's going to have some modern features, adding a quick custom dashboard that we're making. It's not going to have any dials or gauges because it just doesn't need it. This car only goes 50 kilometers an hour. One simple seat in the middle, a gear shifter on the actual wheel well, which will get changed later on, adding a steering column, having two sort of shifters or, or you know, a, a turn signal stock or a windshield wiper stock on the side, which actually will be used as the throttle and the brake, adding some uh, door cards, uh, some door handles on the inside, and a few touches to the inside, such as um, footwell areas. I don't know what to call it, just a footwell area, adding the back to block off the trunk that we're going to have. Uh, and just tweaking some things like the dash, uh, adding some more details to the doors. And uh, finally with the name of the, it's a Bada branded car, the A30 is the name, adding some taillights that are going to be simple. Uh, and doing some things, tweaking it uh, on the back of the car. We're going to cut our own custom trunk after we add some Bada scripture. It's going to have the Bada badging on the back obviously. Um, so the back, the back is done, the front is done, the sides are just about done. Uh, tweaking the colors and the wheels uh, and changing the window tint, adding some new turn signals and making the rear turn signals work. So in front of us is the 1989, the Bada A30. Alright guys, like I said, this is the Abada A30 in front of us, so we opted for 2020 engine tech, uh, 1960 like, base chassis design model year, then went for 1989 for the, for the other stuff, so it's, it's, it's a little bit of a complicated car to say the least. The final cost is $3,390, uh, off camera I fixed the wheels, I just like reloaded the car and just tinkered with the whole design again, um, but it's $3,390, 49 MPG, that's actually kind of depressing considering this car has four horsepower, but that's okay. It gets a remarkable zero drivability, zero sportiness, zero comfort, zero prestige, zero safety, zero off-road, and zero reliability. But I can assure you it does run in Beam and G. Um, it just says it's gonna tires are gonna bloat, which gives it zero unreliability, but that's totally fine because it's gonna work in Beam and G. Uh, this car now runs on 100 octane fuel to get that really brisk four horsepower and 11 pound-feet of torque. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it, 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 it runs on race gas. Don't question it. Don't question it. This is this is fine. Um, still two-speed manual. Uh, we'll go over the design real quick. Hop into Beeman G. It can do 55 kilometers an hour. It pulls 0 0.010 quarter inches. <laughs> it doesn't even turn. Oh gosh. So it's got a single headlight in the middle with this very basic air suck grill in the middle thing. It's got turn signals, a crooked license plate. That's all they can afford in the... Uh, in the, the the communist area of Bada Land, we got this black cladding around the entire side of the car and around the front. I like that. That's a, that's a that's a design element right there. These really crooked. Uh, 
what are these called again? I forget. Oh gosh, I forget. It's fine. That's staying in the video. It's got a door handle. Uh, so it has an interior for some reason. So if you look in the front here, it's got the engine sticking out there. We can actually just hide that. That's that doesn't. No, wait, is it hiding? That's fine. That's fine. So it's got a steering wheel right there. Let's go like this. It's got a steering wheel. It's got uh, turn signal stocks, which actually aren't the turn signal or the wiper stocks. They are simply the the right one is the throttle, and it's also the turn signal. And the left one is the wipers, and it's also the brake. Don't ask how that's going to work properly, but that's going to work fine. There's no pedals. There's no room for pedals. Your knees are up against the, the wheel. Your shifter sticks right out at you. I'm not sure how you get in this car, but it's got two doors. It's got such features like two doors with, with, with latches to open the doors. So that's, that's actually a good feature. It's got one wiper. It's got these roof rails, which are just black and plastic. The door handle is made out of plastic. Uh, everything's made out of plastic, because this is a very uh, futuristic car for the 80s, and plastics, plastics in. It's got these black painted wheels, I mean, they're just unpainted, I guess, or just the primer. Um, we got these bada bodging, ba bodging, the bada badging, which is very fancy. We got this custom trunk that we made, but it's not perfect, because the body's kind of glitched out. It, it, it's, it's, it's a feature, not a bug. Um, this keyhole for the key, the, the, the highlight of this car is it's got a locking trunk. That's the highlight of this entire car. You get a trunk, it locks. You can store about three boxes of cereal in the back, or maybe a gallon of milk. I'm not too sure what you're storing in your bada. That's up to you. Look at those door handle levers. Look at the look at the interior. The interior is there's no speedo gauge. You don't need that. You don't need a speedometer. You don't need a, a fuel gauge. You don't need any any dummy lights for your car. It's all fine. Um, all that's left to do is hop in a beam and G. And I want to compare this thing to a couple of my other cars, and just see how terrible this thing is in comparison. It doesn't pull even 0.1 G's. We'll see. Uh, so see you guys in Beeman G in just a second. Now we're in Beeman G Drive with the Bada A30, and it is so <laughs> quirky looking, man. It's super loud too. We're gonna just stay back. It's, look, look at the exhaust. Look at that. <laughs> it doesn't even go far out. It just goes like right next to the passenger compartment. I love that. Uh, it is. We've got a zero to sixty timer up here. That's that's a little bit. That's a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna get that in this thing. It looks pretty good, and BMG actually surprisingly quite good. The interior looks pretty. Everything looks kind of good. This is actually one of my favorite BMG looking cars. Uh, let's go to first person here, or third person, I guess, and just take it for a bit of a drive. Yeah, it just doesn't really. <laughs> it struggles over these. <laughs> it doesn't even make it over these. Look at this. The suspension is totally trashed. After the entire body's just jiggling. That's fine. I actually haven't even tested this car at all, and I'm I'm not surprised that it's not doing well. But it, it actually handles kind of okay, because it's just such a small wheelbase if we just ramp it up here. <laughs> and it's fine. Look at that. It's actually- oh my gosh, it's just pouring smoke. That's totally fine. It's like a train. Yeah, it looks fine. Can I climb this and climb? <laughs> I can't. Well, the other one. Can I even do the other one? Oh gosh. Come on, let's just stay in cinematic, because cinematic's just cool. Come on. Nope. Let's try it. Look at that. Look at that. That is pure pulling power. This is basically a Cummins in a PLP 50. Look at that. Look at that difference in size. Look at that. Let's hop into the van real quick. Spin the tires here as one does. Do a quick safety test. This thing's got zero safety. Let's see how it fares. I think that was a success if you ask me. Where's the car? No one knows. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, gosh. It pushes in like nothing. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Does it still work? It still runs. That is engineering right there. That's bot engineering. Apparently, it's going speeds, but I don't think so. I don't believe it, to be honest. The final event of the night. We've got the Titan 1.9 Turbo here, which is my monstrous, most reliable car. It weighs about 16,000 pounds. It's got about 40 or 50 horsepower. So honestly, the power to weight ratio is, of course, more in this car's favor, but it's not as big as you might think, right? Um, we cannot turn off my car, which is one thing I've noticed. If we turn off the engine, it just locks up, which is totally reasonable, I think. Uh, so we're gonna do a drag race. We're gonna see which car can win against the drag race here. I've got a feeling that the Titan's gonna win just because it's just, it's just much more horsepower. It's got like, what? 20 times the horsepower, I don't even know. It's got a lot more horsepower. Alright, so we're at the starting line. And starting. We're going. Look at the race. Oh my god, are we winning? He's got top end on us, I think. Let's change cameras here. 
Oh my gosh, we're actually gonna win. Oh my gosh. I was, how, how is that thing not winning? It's got 50 horsepower. Two hours later. Look at that, flying. 50 kilometers an hour, blistering speeds. Finishing the quarter mile in a pretty reasonable time. Let's take a look in a sec. Come on, come on, Titan, finish it up. It doesn't even give us our own... It doesn't give us a quarter mile time. Oh, we know it was faster than 25 seconds. 52 miles an hour it hit. Or kilometers. Is that miles an hour? That must be miles. He, he's getting pretty good speed after that. Um, let's just do like a, a crash. Just, let's just crash the Titan into the bottom at the very end. Let, let's just actually press escape here. He's going to drive into us, right? Man, that thing is terrible at braking. Come on. Come on, Titan. Hi there. How's it going? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he just doesn't stop for anything. Yeah, you're not, you're not walking away from that one. It still runs, though. And it still drives. No, it does not drive. Man, that Titan is just... 40 kilometers an hour, that's... Let's just... Hold on. I don't know. It's just doing its auto stuff. That's fine. That was... I don't think this is... That, that was a successful episode, I think. Let's just respawn it. That was a success, I feel like. Uh, so we managed to make the cheapest car possible. $3,990 was the final cost. Let me know if you could beat that for your uh, actual sale price in automation. If you can't, let me know in the comments. Let me know what sale price you hit. Um, the material cost is like what, just over $1,000. Very cheap. Um, let me know if you guys can beat that in the comments down below. Let me know also what you want to see me do for my next automation video. Another video is coming up this weekend, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. Off to a good weekend. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to join the Discord linked in the description for automation challenges and other things as well. Thank you guys for hanging out, thanks so much for watching, and of course, as always, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Look at that. Look at it go! Come on!